What's up guys? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make a uh, homemade tire slide. Pretty simple stuff, you know, it's super cheap too. So anyways, first thing you're gonna need to do is get a tire. That was simple. I went over to uh, Tire Man in Westlake Village and uh, they give out their shitty tires. So that's cool. The other thing, I already did it. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time drilling something. So I got this um, piece right here at Home Depot. Basically, I already drilled it out. Um, you can see it's coming through here. Where is it right here? I got the washer on, so when you're pulling, it doesn't rip through. Um, it's super simple. Just when you do it, wear uh, wear some glasses because there is metal inside tires. And you don't want that shit shooting up at you. Okay, so the next part is basically the wood. Okay. You want to get um, the wood is four by four, okay? Um, depending on the tire you get, but um, is going to be the length. But I just measured from tread to tread, and it was like 23 and a half inches. Um, now, what these two other pieces of wood are for is I'm basically going to use these pieces of wood to put in the corners so that there, it doesn't give too much movement to when uh, we end up pushing and pulling with weights on it. Um, you're gonna see about these T-brackets. I will drill those in. I ended up buying this bit right here. This was the most expensive thing actually to build this. This thing was like nine bucks. Um, basically putting this whole thing together is probably gonna end up costing me like 35 bucks. And then I got my PVC pipe, which once I drill the hole and center it all off, it's going to sit in right there and you'll be able to drop the plates on this. All right, so I got all the brackets in. Got this bullshit on. Now I'm going to do the main part. I left the best part for you guys because I know you don't want to see me do this other shit because that's easy. So let's see if I can do this. Uh, center. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's when you know you're freaking. Oh my gosh, it's on full blast. Oh, here we go. Forgot to tell you guys, I'm all about safety, and I'm not safety right there, so you always <laughs> gotta get your safety on, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Alright. One other thing, you don't want to drill all the way through the hole, you want to drill it like halfway down so when you put the pole in it doesn't just fall through the hole, you know what I'm saying? I didn't think about it, I was like, how am I going to get the wood out of the middle of that thing? Because <laughs> I'm not going all the way through. So, luckily, I'm like MacGyver when it comes to shit like this. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. So I don't have uh, anything bigger than this, so I'm going to have to do with this and just try to get in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, this drill is so hot. You can check it out right now. Dug out a good amount, but I still need to get down there a little more. But the P PVC pipe is a little smaller than the hole, so I'm gonna wrap it up with some tape, put some uh, liquid nail in there, let it sit, and boom. Got the liquid nail, pour that shit in there. Kind of glob it all over. I like that. That looks good. There you go. So once it dries, I'll test it out for you guys and uh, let you know how it works. Here's the finished product right here. It's all glued in. Everything's good. We got a 45 pound weight. Slide it down. Drop it on. Right now I got the TRX bands. So I'm gonna hook it up to the here. Let's see how it works. 